Hello, Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? So today we are going to solve uh, our uh, A2 accounts paper for November 2021, paper 32, question number 3 and question number 4. Question number 1 and 2 we have, I have already uh, uploaded. Now today we will complete inshallah question number 3 and 4 and tomorrow inshallah we will complete question number 5 and 6. Okay, here is your paper. Uh, hi, bhai. Yeah, this is your paper. Okay. Now, this is question number three. Okay. Uh, last time, what happened? <clears throat> last time we did, uh, uh, you know, question number two, this is question number three, CTPLC has an accounting year of the ending, 31st December. The directors provided the following information. Okay, now in this question, before starting this question, we have to be, Careful. Uh, first thing, very important. This in 2019, the profit from operations is 280,000. There was no finance cost. Okay. But in the year 2020, again, profit from operation is 310,000. That is increased. But finance cost is 30,000. That makes the profit again. 310,000 minus 30,000 makes 280,000 the profit again. The profit is same for both the years. Okay. One, we have to be very much careful. Second thing, uh, this is uh, ordinary share capital is given in dollars. So number of shares is the same for that is uh, 1 million uh, divided by 0.5. So it means 2 million number of shares. So I am writing over here. Number of shares. Okay. So that would be really helpful for us in calculating. Okay. Now, first thing, what we have to do today, uh, question number 3A1. We have to do question number 3A1. And uh, it says, what we have to calculate? We have to calculate earnings per share for 2019. Earnings per share for 2019. Okay. Uh, this is uh, question number Earning per shares. So, earning per shares, the formula for earnings per share is equal to earnings divided by number of shares. So, uh, it means if you calculate earning per share, it would be. 280,000 for <coughs> 2019 divided by number of shares. <coughs> we know number of shares are 2 million. So earning per share would be here. How much? Uh, 280,000 divided by 2 million. Equal to zero point one four dollars per share. Okay, this is the answer, and we have earned two marks. Okay. Why the value of earning per share this is the same for 2020 and 2019 because the profit is same, the number of shares are same. There is no change in the share uh, issued share capital, there is no change in the profit. Even after deducting finance costs in 2020, the profit would remain same 280,000. Okay. okay. Now for 2019 and 2020, we have to calculate up to two decimal places. Okay. So round off up to two decimal places. 
Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to write uh, PE formula, price earning ratio, PER, price earning ratio. Formula is PER, uh, market price of market price per share divided by earnings per share. Now, market price per share, we all know that. It is given in the question 2019, 1.6. So 1.6 divided by earning per share, we all know 0 0.14. I'll write uh, 0 0.14. So answer would be how much? Zero, uh, 1.6 divided by 0 0.14. Answer is 11.42. 428, so we'll make it 11.43. 11 11.43. 11 okay, this is for 1999. Oh, sorry, <laughs> 2019. <laughs> okay, now for 2020. Okay, the market price of share has changed. So uh, that means uh, how much? Two. Okay, price earning is the same. So two divided by 0 0.14 is equal to how much? So we calculate it over here, 2 divided by 0.14, answer is 14.28, uh, round up to 14.29. Okay, so this is PER, price earning ratio for 2019 and 2020. And uh, I have already explained on my channel all the uh, ratios for A2 and AS uh, videos. Uh, particularly for this topic, I have made a video. Uh, ratio analysis. There are three videos actually. Ratio analysis one, two, and three. Okay, for uh, O, A, A, S, and A two, all ratios are solved. You can see formulas and working there. Okay. Now, next. Okay, dividend yield. Okay, now. For dividend yield, what we have, what we need first, first what we need, we need uh, to calculate uh, annual dividends per share. So the dividend is uh, one hundred and fifty thousand for two thousand nineteen divided by two million number of shares. So that would make a dividend per share is zero point zero seven five dollars. Okay, zero point zero seven five. Now go to the formula, dividend yield. Okay, we, I'm right, going to do, write dividend yield formula. This is equal to annual dividend per share divided by market price per share. And the answer is going to multiply by so now come to 2019, uh, annual dividend per share, uh, I told you that this is 0 0.075, 0 0.075, divided by market price of share that the time was one, uh, I think 1.6, uh, let me check, let me check, let me check, yes 1.6, so here we will write 1.6, okay. Point six multiply by hundred, and the answer would be how much? Zero point zero seven five divided by one point six percent, four point six eight seven five. So we write four point six nine. Done. Okay. Now come to twenty twenty. Is equal to. Uh, dividend yield, I think it's no, it's no same for the second year also. So 0 0.075. Okay, 0 0.075 divided by market price per share at that time. Two multiply by 100. And the answer would be 0. 
Three quarters means first quarter ends on thirty-first March. So that loan must be obtained on first April. Okay, April one twenty twenty. Done. Okay. Explain explain the significance of the changes which have taken place between the two years. <clears throat> now here we have to be very much careful about answering because the marks there are seven marks and uh, it's more theoretical than practical i don't like theories in accounts paper personally okay now students uh, what uh, we have to be careful about uh, <clears throat> the next questions okay oh, okay Uh, we were discussing this uh, significant thing that is taking place between the two years. If you go to the question, we we'll find profit is constant, market value of share is increasing, so dividend is constant. On okay, now the bank loan which has taken it has increased the risk of bearing. The risk of bearing has increased. <clears throat> okay, and uh, this. market value this is showing the investors uh, interest in business and investors confidence in your uh, in your company so overall uh, the company is moving in a very correct direction and uh, <clears throat> it will uh, move successfully inshallah okay and there are so many things you have to add in question number 7 Now, next question. Record dividends. Dividends are recorded in the cash flow statement and uh, statement of uh, changes in. Proposed dividends are uh, added as notes. Now, a company of will often mention its dividend policy interaction with respect to other items which we contain in director reports. In director reports, what we contain normally is uh, just report. Future developments. And uh, and <clears throat> safety issues. the end of question number three yes okay we have to move to question number four 
This is a question about consignment accounting. Yes. Okay. State the two costs. <clears throat> A consignment might pay in addition to consignment, advertising, storage, storage, the spelling galate, storage. Okay, we have to make <coughs> a consignment account. The, the device sales information has been available from the start. So we have to go to the question or before going to question, I want to make the account for consignment account. Right heading over here. Oh my god. Consignment. S I G N M E N T. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the question and see what is happening in the paper. Tin is a trader in Jakarta who uses the Service of agent Benny in Phnom Penh. Okay. During the year 30, uh, ended 31st December 2020, Chin sent 200 units of his product at a cost of $1.90 each to Benny. Chin paid the freight charges and Benny paid the import duties. At the year end, Benny reported that he had sold 164 units of for $120 each. <clears throat> Chin's book of accounts at the end. And including the following major account. So we have to make consignment account in the books of consignment. Okay. Uh, uh, right. What's wrong? Can, uh, okay. At the end, we have to correct the sales figure. Then we quote chain one to nine to dollar. Prepare after the account has been made, sent a further message saying that he had previously reported an error and in fact he had sold 120 units for $146 each. Okay, 164. Previously it was 164 units for $120 each. Okay, now Benny said, sorry, that was uh, 120 units for $146. Uh, okay. See, <laughs> the error of transposition is there. Okay. Transposition and original entry both errors are there. So we have to be careful about making this. We have to make a revised consignment account. Now, first, what we have to learn here is. Uh, if we are changing the figures, okay, if we are removing the transposition error, what will happen? Uh, this amount will remain the same, no change. Okay. Okay. This amount I think uh, this 18,000 would remain the same, 3,000 would remain the same. And this 600 will remain the important. The amount which we have to change definitely now are other than the dots sales figure, loss or gain on consignment, balance CD, and commission. We have to change. So, first, what we do, we are going to report the uh, same figures, uh, the unchanging figures. Okay. First item, put send. That is dollar eighteen thousand. Okay. Second, bank debit for freight uh, 
that was uh, three thousand dollars. And bank credit for for it. That is six hundred. These are the same. Right. Now what we have to do, we have to change the figure of sales. The sales was previously reported 19,650. Uh, 19, okay. That was 164 by 120. Right? 164 multiplied by 120. That is 19,650. But this time, if you remove the errors, 120 multiplied by 146, the answer would be 17,500. 20. So sales, this is revenue. That was written previously by Bailey Sales. Bailey Sales. How much? Dollar. Now, rectify 17,520. Using these two figures, 120 and first 146. Okay. Then, now next, uh, we are not sure about this uh, loss and consignment. We will calculate. We are not sure about this balance CD. Okay. Now, the Banny's commission on sales would be changed. Previously, it was 2952 divided by. 19,680, 15%. So if again the percentage is same, uh, that would, uh, the commission to Benny would be changed. 15%. Previously 17,520 multiplied by 15%. It says 2628. Yes. 2628. Benny's commission on sale would be changed. So here, by Benny. This amount is going to be ready for commission, and this would be 2,620. What we have to do now, we have to be very much careful about the balance CD. Okay, see the balance CD last time that was showing uh, around. Uh, Now see class, uh, what we have to do, see, uh, we have sold 120. First, what we have to do, all these dot amount, 18,000 plus 3,000 plus 600, 21,600 is the cost of, cost of goods sold, uh, sorry, cost of consignment, divided by 200 units. So one unit is of $108, okay, the cost of, one unit after reaching the, uh, the, the place, it's $108. So now, see, uh, we had sold 120 units. Huh? So 108 multiplied by 120. The cost of goods sold for 120 units is 12,960. Minus sales, 17,520. The gross profit is 4,560. Minus commission, 2628, it means we have gain on consignment, which is profit on consignment. And what we have to do, profit. That is 1930. 1930. Okay. So this is all for. Uh, oh, oh. Decrease this line, sorry. So, we have to get the totals of consignment account over here. And we can calculate easily the balance CD 18,000 plus 3,000 plus 600 plus 2628 
Assignment account, mashallah, and we have earned eight bucks. Next, at the end of the year, after collecting the sales figure, Bani owed Chen twelve ninety two. Calculate the amount Bani remitted to Chen during the year. Now, what we have to calculate the amount of cash. See, okay, come, see the figure. How much is the amount of sales? 17,000. 17,520. 17,520. Now, commission. 2628. We have calculated. And keep it in the bracket so we have it. I'll just take the limited. And the info duty charged to the consigner was paid by the consignee 600. So, Zaira, uh, we will uh, definitely cut this amount. Okay. Now, okay. now that means 17,520 for the sales minus 2628, we have his commission. Minus 600 import duty he paid, now he has to send 14,292 14, dollars to the consigner. Now, the balance available is 1292. Balance. Chin. So it balance with them. That is how much? Twelve ninety. Twelve ninety two. And the answer, the remittance must must be how much? Oh, oh, we are now. Why are the loss on consignment turned into a profit when sales had fallen? Support your answer. Actually, what happened if we see the research? What happened? He said selling price was low and the number of units were high, but this time units were low, but the selling price was high. Explain how the answer to B would have been different if one twenty had been sold in forty five hundred rupees in the <coughs> warehouse. Oh, okay. okay. Now, if something is stolen, what will happen? Uh, answer in B. Okay, what was B actually? Go back. Now, 
this is which are deep okay and they say that from b what happened Forty-four units have been stolen. If forty-four units have been stolen, uh, what will happen? See, one twenty units have been sold, which means eighty units must be in the balance. But now uh, we have sustained a, a loss also. We calculated that one unit uh, we were costing one hundred and eight dollars multiplied by uh, forty-four units. That means four seven five two. So this balance CD is decreased by four seven five two, and this profit is also decreased by four seven five two and make a loss on consignment of how much? Uh, two eight two zero. This these are the facts. What is next? Our auditor can can can't do anything in this concern if the consignee has consignee uh, has uh, and all the inventories. What can auditor do? He will definitely verify that all the values given in the consignment account is true and fair. Location is the problem. This is page fifteen, blank page, and okay, five and six. Shall we will do tomorrow? That's all for today. Take care. Today is twenty seventh Ramzan. Yes, Jumatulida. So remember me. Yes, and. Shall I keep working for you all, for all those students who are taking advantage from these videos? I'm very happy if it is helpful even for one child. So please remember me in your prayers. Take care. Allah bless.